Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to do a Minecraft custom main menu panorama background like I have right here. This is my Bastion Remnant space that I'm building in the nether right now. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subs, so every single subscription counts. I also want to do a shout out at the beginning of the month here to everybody who's watched and commented on my videos this past month, including these great YouTubers. I also want to give a special shout out to Crystal, who just did a new Patreon pledge. Now, to do this kind of background panorama, it's actually very easy if you know the right settings. Okay, let me just back out of this, and we'll talk about what you need to do to set up to do one of these panoramas. Now, there are a few things you need to make sure are set up before we do this. First off, this is most easily done if you're in creative mode and you have cheats enabled. It can be done in survival, but it's a lot more difficult. Then you need to pick a spot to do this in. We'll be using this spot right here as our main panorama spot. I'll be doing my main house there, have that portal right back there, and just some more background around there. It's a pretty good spot for this. We'll be doing this with a custom resource pack, and I have mine already set up here for the panorama you saw at the beginning. I'm going to show you how to get to this point. First off, we need to have the basic information for the resource pack. So open up any file window and then type in percent app data percent. Go into Minecraft and then come down to versions and find your version of Minecraft. You'll find it down here someplace. Mine right here is 16.2. That's what I'm playing right now. Go inside that and you want to find the jar file right here. Now, we'll be putting this into a new folder on our hard drive, and I have mine right here. I just made a new folder that I called Title Screen, and I'm building it in this location. Okay, just take this, just right drag that over here, and copy. We're just using this just to get just a few files and also for reference. Let me just close this down. We're done with that, and I'll get rid of these. We'll bring those back in in just a second. I'll show you where those come from. Okay, so in here, make a new folder called Assets. And just leave it at that for the moment. Let's now take this jar file and make sure you're seeing where it says .jar. If you're not seeing that, go up to View and click on File Name Extensions right here. You then should see that .jar. Now change that .jar to zip and say yes. It's now just a regular zip file. We can now open this thing up. I'm going to right click and open in New Window. And here we go. There's the contents of that zip file right here. Okay, so we have our Assets folder right there. Let's go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of Textures right down here, and then inside of GUI right there. And then here it says Title. I'll go inside of Title, and then inside of Background. In here you're going to see five files from 0 through 5. We'll be replacing those files, and we need to have this file available. So we'll take care of this in just a second. But first, take a look over here at this folder structure. We have Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI, Title, and Background. We need to set up this folder structure over here in our brand new assets. And I've already done that, so let me just walk you through how I did this. I just put this one right there, like that, so I can see that list up there. There it is. So my assets folder. Inside of that, I made a Minecraft folder that's right there. Inside of that, I made a textures folder that's right there. Inside of textures, I made a GUI folder that matches that. Inside of GUI, I made a title folder that's right there. Inside of title, I made a background folder that's right there. And inside of background, that's where I put in my screenshots right here. And the only file that you need to bring in at this point, this will be empty for you. All that you need to bring in is just this one here. It says panorama overlay.png. Just right drag that in here and do a copy. And mine's already sitting right there. So you need that one file. We'll be making these ourselves, so ignore that. Okay, so that basic folder structure is set up for our title screen right here. Now we need to have the pack.mcmeta and the pack.png files. So I'll go in here back to the basic zip folder location. This is the contents of our zip. There's the assets. And you have all these class files right down here. Just scroll way down on this list, down to the P's. It's down, of course, way, way, way down. And here we go. You'll find the pack.mcmeta and the pack.png. Let's just grab both of those and right click and drag them over here and copy. There we go. Okay, we're now done with that zip folder. You can even delete this if you want to. You might want to hang on in this case. You want to do anything else with the resource pack later on. All that information is in there. I'll just delete this right now just to keep things clean. Okay, inside of the pack.mc meta, open this thing up. Here's where you put your description right there. It's whatever you want to call this thing. That's fine. I'll just call mine new panorama. And pack format should be six. 
and then file save. That one is done. The pack PNG can be anything you want. I normally use a 256 by 256 PNG. But this can be anything you want as long as it's square. That's all that matters. And this is just what shows up inside the list of resource packs in the game. Okay, we're all set right now. Now let's talk about the basic setup that we need to use. And for that, let's go back into the game just for a moment. Now here's one or two spots I see everybody wildly guessing on on what this should be and there's no guessing involved at all. Now if we're doing a panorama, and that's looking straight forward, going clear around like that, and clear back to the same spot, that's a rotation of 360 degrees. We're using four photographs to encompass all of that rotation, so 360 divided by four is 90. No guessing involved, it's not 91, it's not 87, I've seen both of those in other videos, it's 90 exactly, always is. So our field of view for our image here has to be at 90 degrees. Let's just hit the escape key, go into options, and right here at the top it says FOV, that's your field of view, and normal is the middle point. We'll come back to that once we're finished with this whole process. But for now, just pull this to the right until it says 90, and that's the exact number you need, and that's one you will always need is 90 right there. Okay, back to game. Okay, now let's set up the whole program to give us the right size for taking our screenshots. So for that, hit the escape key, and then save and quit, and I'll quit out of the game, Okay, here we are. Now I'm playing in 1.16.2 right now. Go into installations, and that should be my top one. There it is. Now over on the right-hand side, just to the right of play, you'll see this little icon right here with three dots on it. Click on that and click on edit. This allows us to edit the resolution, which is right here. We need this to be square because our screenshots have to be square. Now the default size for this is 1024 and 1024. Now my screen right now is at a 1080 height so I can fit the 1024. So if your screen is smaller than that, you may need to bring the size down a little bit to fit onto your screen. So look at the vertical height of your screen resolution on your computer and make sure this is smaller than that so you'll see the whole thing. Choose save and that's all set to go. Okay, let's go back to play, click on play. It's gonna reload this and it's going to be square on our screen. And there we go, nice square image. Okay, we're all set now to take our screenshots. Let's go back into single player. Now make sure you give it enough time to render all of your chunks in here, all of your images. So you know, give it a minute or so, so that everything is properly rendered. Once it's all rendered, we can then take a nice clean screenshot. Okay, it's all set to go. Now here's where being in creative mode with cheats enabled makes this a lot easier. We need to get an exact position and then hold that height, clear around, and then go to the exact coordinates, you know, the west, east, north, south coordinates for our screenshots. It's a little hard to do here by hand. You can get close, but it's a little hard to do. I'm in creative mode right now, which makes this a lot easier. Now do a forward slash and TP. This is the teleport command, a space, and then you want at P, that's at player, and a space. Then you want three tildes. So it's a tilde, space, tilde, space, and tilde, space. Now a zero, and then a zero. The first one here is your rotation, that's around, you know, left to right, and the second one is looking up and looking down. So this is zero rotation and zero up or down. Hit the enter key, and it moves to that very specific view right there. If you want to, you can get rid of all that stuff down below there. Just hit the F1 key to clean that out. Hit the F2 key for a screenshot. Okay, once your screenshot is done, we can then move to our next position. That's going to be a forward slash TP, and then once again, the at player, that's at P, space, three tildes, tilde space, tilde space, tilde space, and then we want to have a 90 for 90 degrees, a space, and a zero. Hit enter, that's our next rotation, and then an F2 key for the screenshot. Let's move on, forward slash, TP, again at player, that's at P, and the space, and then tilde, 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 and then for this one we want to have 180, space, and zero, hit the enter key. There's our next move, once again, the F2 key, there it is, screenshots done. And then one more time here, forward slash TP. Again, it's at player, and then tilde space, tilde space, tilde space. And this one is gonna be at 270, a space and zero, enter key. There's our last spot, and then F2. Okay, we recorded all four of our shots around. We now need to record the up shot, so forward space, TP, again, it's at player, and again, our three tildes there. There's one, there's two, there's three, a space. Now this time, we don't wanna be rotating left or right, we wanna have zero and a space, and then negative 90, and enter. And that's looking straight up, F2 key. Now, once more, forward slash TP, again, at player, at P, the three tildes, space, space, and a space, like that. 
and this time 0, no rotation, and then 90, enter key, and that's looking straight down, and the F2 keyboard shortcut, there we are, and it's put things back the way they should be, and we're back up to our normal view right there. Okay, so all of our screenshots have now been taken, and we can now back out of here, and let's get the game set back up the way it should be, so let's hit the escape key, save and quit, let's quit the game right here, let's bring the launcher back up again, and we'll set our resolution back to the proper setting. There we go, back up to installations, back to the latest release and click on the three dots right there and edit. And then change the resolution here back to auto and save. That's all reset. We now need to go back in and change the FOV, the field of view. So let's launch our game again. We should be seeing the correct ratio once this launches. Okay, right from the screen, click on options. And here's the field of view. Just take that slider, move it to the left until it says normal. There it is, choose done. That's all set and quick game. Okay, it's all back to normal again. Let's now bring our folders back up. All right, here's where we're building our resource pack. Let's go into assets, Minecraft textures, GUI, title, background. There we are. Now these are the six shots I did for my opening title before. I'm just gonna delete all that stuff. That's out of there. So there we go. That's what we need to be sitting at right now. There is the panorama overlay that we copied over here from the resource pack zip file. Let's now go back over to just a regular window like this file window. I want to do percent app data percent. Go into Minecraft and come down to screenshots right there. And you should see your six shots we just did. There's that one here. I'll hold the control key down. I'll choose all six of these shots. And then I'll just right drag over here and copy. There you go. There's the panorama. Now the first one here, we're going to rename this one. Just click on that rename. It's going to be panorama underscore zero. There it is. The next one, let's just click slowly twice there. Do a rename here. This one's underscore one. There it is. Same thing. Underscore two. This one right there underscore three. So there's our first four. That's the rotation. Zero, one, two, three. Number four has to be the sky, and that is underscore four. And number five has to be the ground, and that one also is underscore five. And that's all set to go. Okay, it's back up to our working folder right here. Everything's done. We can now zip this up into a new resource pack. Let's just select all of those. I'll go up here to share, and I'll click on zip. Puts in the zip like that. Let me just call this one panorama or just new panorama. There we go. There is our new panorama. Okay, back over here. Let's just back up one level here to the Minecraft folder. And we'll go into the resource packs right there. And then take this one and I'll just right drag this in. Let me just put this over here so you can see that. Right drag right in there like that and copy. And there we are. We now have that new panorama all set to go. Okay, now we're ready to go into the game and check out that new panorama. Okay, here we are. Open title screen, go into options and resource packs. And there's one I'm running right now, a custom title panorama. I'm just gonna remove that one. And let's find our new panorama. And that's right there, there it is. Hit the arrow, bring it over here, choose done. It's going to load that one in and we'll see how that looks. Just choose done again. Okay, there's the house beginning to come in and that all looks fine. I'm not seeing any line in there. Straight ahead right now, that's where we'd be seeing a line between those two screenshots and there's no line at all showing. So that's working out perfectly. And there we go. Okay, so a little bit of a long video for this thing, but once you've done it a couple times, it's actually pretty fast and pretty easy to do as long as you have those specific numbers down. All right, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe. Hit that subscribe bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.